Well, destination today, Stuttgart. I'm going to be driving the SLS Roadster. I think I'm the first one to drive this thing, or at least outside the company. So it'll be very exciting. We're leaving England in our propeller plane, and gosh, we should be there in 15 to 18 hours. Well, we just landed at Stuttgart, and uh, there's our car right over there. They brought it out to the runway. You can't get, uh, can't get better service than that. Looks great. How are you? Jay, welcome to Stuttgart. Thank you. This is Ola Klanis. He's the uh, CEO of AMG, correct? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, the car looks beautiful. Wow. Well, it's the SLS now as a roadster, of course. Right. The gull wing is legendary, but yeah. we had to chop the roof off. Yeah, well, you got to do that. Same horsepower? Horsepower is uh, 571 horsepower, so there is enough for you to go around. Yeah. Torque? Uh, torque is 630 Newton meters. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Zero to 62, 3.8 yeah. seconds. Wow. And with that seven speed dual clutch gearbox with uh, instant shift. What that does is it more or less sets up the next gear while you're in. It sets up second while you're in first, right? So when you exactly. shift, it's literally already engaged and bang, it shifts far quicker than any human could ever shift. I exactly. mean, it, it's, I found it to be the most exciting feature of the car. I mean, obviously I like the horsepower, just the fact that it would bam, and you realize there's no way you could possibly shift faster if you had a manual car. So that, that makes it exciting. And very, that's very the exciting. reason we introduced it in motorsports yeah. and it's now come into the road cars as well. Well, we'll go for a ride in a second here. I'm fascinated to hear how it sounds with the, uh, with the roof off it. I mean, it always sounded good in the gull wing, but now the roof is off, so there'll be no obstructions. And uh, I want to see what we can do to get the most out of this car. Any tips? Put the gearbox into Sports Plus or manual right. and just push the throttle. Wow. Let's give it a shot. of torque and you can certainly hear that exhaust system a lot better in the convertible than you can in the gull wing listen i mean it's incredibly fast it's almost 200 miles an hour and it's so incredibly stable it's just rock steady at no point do you scare yourself you know one thing about mercedes-benz and amg they build incredibly practical sports cars you got normal ground clearance. You're not scraping every time you go over a speed bump or into a gas station. And yet you've got plenty of performance. Well, this is very exciting. I used to work for Mercedes-Benz when I was a kid uh, doing new car prep. And I always see pictures of this track. It's an iconic track. It's the famous factory test track. It's quite old, but uh, it's fantastic to see it in person. We're going to take this car and see how it goes on the track. But I'm going to get some help from a buddy of mine, David Coulthard. We're going to call him on the phone here and uh, see if he can help me because he helped develop this car. Hey, David, Jay Leno. Hi, Jay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Have you been on this test track here at the factory? I have done thousands of kilometers around that track. So you want to be uh, flat out with the throttle. Yeah. And you need to be left with the late breakers. You just need to trust the car. All right. Here, trust the I car. There once. Okay, here yeah, we go. Okay, now we're going into that big bowl. Here we go. All right, I, I definitely fly. Yeah, I can feel the G-forces here. Come on, this isn't America. We're allowed to go faster than the to the the throttle. I'm coming down the straight. Tell me about developing this car. How much fun was that? Oh, it was brilliant because you really start with the point of view of right performance first, and then once you've got the performance level set, you then try and make it what people would expect, uh, you know, a high-performance road car. So you need all the comfort and 
the yeah. Amazon and leather trim and what have you. So, uh, you know, it's not a pure red, red racer. Right. I like that because I like to be able to unleash the performance when you want it. But you also, if you're stuck in traffic, which is what happens most of the time when you're leaving cities, then you want to have the comfort that um, the car can provide. Thanks for the tip, David. If we hit the wall, we'll call you back. Yeah, absolutely. I own, I own a recovery vehicle company, so I'll step in as well if you have a problem. Perfect. I knew there was a real reason you were doing this. Thanks a lot. Well, the outside of the car, of course, is beautiful, but what I'm concerned about is the inside. And the great thing about AMG is every single engine is made by hand, 20,000 engines a year. No other manufacturer builds every single engine by hand. This is Robert, and Robert will take this engine from the beginning all the way through. One man, and he puts his name on it at the end. That's what's fascinating. Notice he's putting the bearing shells in here. This is obviously a V8. He's checked all the tolerances. He will put the pistons into the block, then this whole cart will move down the line. But only one guy assembles the entire engine. So when you get your AMG and you open the hood and you see Robert's name, well, there he is. That's him right there. Each engine takes about three hours to assemble, give or take a minute or two. The amazing thing is how quiet it is in here. Very good. Very good. Well, that looked pretty simple. I'll have a go. This one here. Okay, where is our I'm the cylinder, yeah. Right. Let's see. Where is the how do I do this? What we're going to do now is put on the cylinder head. These are the cylinder head gaskets. And you notice he's put sealer here and here, but that is the only place. Now I notice these are like a sandwich type gasket, yes? Okay, this goes in here. Now comes our beautifully machined cylinder head. Now if you go to any other car factory, all this is done by robots. And robots certainly do a good job, but they don't have, still don't have the eye for detail. That, uh, that Robert does. He's expecting, inspecting each one. In a normal assembly plant, this cylinder head would just be there and they'd grab one off and they'd put it on and then they'd move on. But he inspects each cylinder head and obviously if he finds something that's wrong, he takes another one. Okay, let's line it up here. Bring it down. Oh. Yeah. Notice everything just falls into place. You don't want to force anything. You just let it drop and it seals perfectly. There you go, right there. Very good. Yeah. I am bonding with the engine, you see? And believe what will happen as soon as I leave is Robert will go back and redo all of this and make sure it's done correctly. Believe me, they're not going to let an engine sneak out of here that I worked on. As you can see, with my help, Robert has assembled the motor. As you can see, he is a true artisan. You know, if you went to Switzerland, this would be a giant watch. That's how exacting this is. It's actually more exacting than a watch because the watch loses a couple of seconds every day. This doesn't skip a beat. Pretty amazing. Robert, thank you very much. And I'm going to fix this name tag on it thus dropping the value of this engine by a tremendous amount. There you go. But as soon as I leave, Robert's name's going on here. I know how this works. This plaque represents all the men who build the engines here at AMG.